it is not unlike slogans which serves as calls for a better future such as the war on waste, war on corruption, and war against climate change. I have always viewed people addicted to illegal drugs as victims and patients requiring medical help and not as criminals. That is why with the drawer, when the war on drugs slogan came into being, coined as first as a message to the, to the people of Davao City to stay away from illegal drugs. But at the same time, I had a drug rehabilitation facility constructed in Davao City, a city government expense, manned by Davao City government doctors, psychiatrists, nurses, and health workers, among others, to look after the complete rehabilitation of those addicted to illegal drugs. I believe then And I still believe now that rehabilitation and not fear of death or incarceration to be the key to the return of the addicted individuals back to the mainstream of a just and forgiving society. But no mistake about it. I hate drugs. I loathe the purveyors, the merchants, and the pushers of this demonizing element. I have not failed to emphasize this from the very day of the campaign when I ran for the presidency in 2016. This was my covenant with the Filipinos who believed in me. And to this day, most still agree with what in government have achieved. It is unfortunate that drug-related crimes are on the rise again. Every day you can read about children being raped people getting killed and robbed. And just recently, a drug den was raided within the Malacanian complex. This clearly manifests that the purveyors of this menace are back in business. I don't go in a the Filipinos are anxious and distressed. 